Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm going to teach you three different methods for getting single notes on harmonica. So what I'm talking about is a clean, clear note. As opposed to... There are three common ways of achieving this, and I'm going to show you each of those, and hopefully one of them will work for you. If you'd like step-by-step -step lessons through your first year of learning harmonica, then try a free trial of my online harmonica school. There's a link in the description beneath this video so you can find out more about that. So let's look at our first method, and this is called lip pursing, or sometimes it's called the pucker method. For this method, we're going to narrow our mouth down so that we only get one note playing at any one time. So what I'm going to do is pull my cheeks in using the muscles at the side so that I'm not going to have either note, either side of the hole I'm trying to get playing. So I'm going to play the hole four to begin with. This is a C diatonic harmonica. And the shape I'm using to get this sound is a kind of... That sort of shape. Now, you'll notice that it's not as small as you might want it to be. So you might be going for a that sort of thing. The problem with going that small is that the tone will be really bad. You have to blow really hard to get enough air through if you're making your mouth that small and that tight. So that's why my lips are further apart. And that's allowing me to just just breathe rather than force the air, rather than push the air through the instrument. I'm just allowing the air to come out of my lungs, through my mouth, into the instrument. The difficult thing is that if you're doing that, you've got a bigger mouth shape further onto the instrument, you might have this problem. You don't get a single note. So remember that the width is the most important factor in terms of getting a single hole to play. So your mouth can be quite far on the instrument and still get a single note as long as it's narrow enough. And it's that combination of relaxed muscles, so you're not forcing the air, making sure you're getting further enough on the instrument, but crucially, keeping your mouth narrow enough that makes a good lip purse shape. And that'll give you a nice tone, and you can get melodies like, if I give you an example of when the saints go marching in. That sort of sound. I've got a full lesson on when the saints, I'll put a link in the description as well. So that's our first method. Let's move on to method two. This is called tongue blocking. Now tongue blocking is quite different from our lip purse shape. So for a tongue block, our mouth is going to be a lot wider. So you might think, well, you've just said that you need to narrow your mouth to get a single note. So how are we going to do it this time? Well, we're going to use our tongue, as the, as the name suggests, to block every hole except one. So I'm going to show you playing hole four, but my mouth will be on holes one, two, three, and four. So I'll then put my tongue on holes one, two, and three, and play hole four. So first off, I'll just give you the holes one to four sound. Then what I'm going to do is take my tongue, put it onto the instrument, I'm going to go kind of to the left, to the lower notes, 
and try and block holes one, two, and three. So you can see my mouth's a lot wider than it was with the lip purse shape. This can take some getting used to. Some people do find it easier, it just depends on you personally. I tend to, when I'm using my tongue, aim quite far left. Really for hole one. Maybe the, the kind of the the bar, if you like, the uh, goal post between hole one and two. With the tip of my tongue. But it's all about the sound you're getting. The key is to not use any pressure with your tongue. Again, you want to be relaxed. If you're kind of forcing it on, again, you're probably not going to get a sound. Whereas if you relax, it's just sitting nice and relaxed there. Then again, you can get single notes and you can play whole melodies using that shape. I'll hold the harmonica like this, just so you can see. And one of the great things about this tongue block shape is you can then bring your tongue on and off, move it left and right to get different textures. If you want to learn more about tongue blocking and those textures, I have a course which is included in my membership. And of course, with the free trial, you can uh, learn all about that. So check out the link for that. So our third and final mouth shape is called a U-block. So this is an interesting kind of mix of the first two techniques. Our mouth is going to be closer to the lip purse shape, but we're actually going to use our tongue to help isolate the note as well. So this is only going to be available to probably 50% of you because it means using the curve of your tongue. So if you can't do that, if genetically you can't do that, I'm afraid the U-block probably won't work for you. But that's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to keep our mouth quite narrow, but we're going to use our tongue to make sure we don't get either note left or right of the, the hole that we're aiming for. Full disclosure, I never use this technique. It's not something that feels right to me, but I do have friends who use it and sound great and I have heard from folk, traditional kind of Irish folk players, that for playing little trills and triplet licks they quite like it because it means they can just flick their kind of mouth and their tongue across and, and it seems to work really well for them for those fast uh, things. So again you can play single note melodies That's a four blow. And you can make it sound better than me. I, I never use this, so it's a bit of an alien concept for me. But I, I've had uh, several beginners find that that's what they're doing and they're not even entirely sure what they're doing until I say, oh, you're doing a, a U block. So that might be a kind of eureka moment for you. Oh, I'm doing the U block. But it's probably less common than the other two. So let me know in the comments which method works best for you. And if you'd like step-by-step -step lessons from absolute basics, playing single notes, learning songs, cool techniques, bending, all that kind of stuff, then check the link to my free trial of my online harmonica school. There's a link in the description. I'll see you soon for another video. Until then, good luck with your practice. Cheers.